There's a new version of Macbeth, or should I say the Scottish play, coming to a cinema near you in October. It looks like it's going to be some kind of a blockbuster. For some reason, movie makers keep returning to this Shakespearean tragedy. Let's listen to how various thespians have performed the same speech, which comes after the death of Lady Macbeth. First, Sir John Gielgud, then Orson Welles, followed by John Finch in Polanski's 1971 version, Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools their way to dusty death. Out out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out. Out. Brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. The poor player struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Tomorrow. And tomorrow. And tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life is but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour up on the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying... Nothing. Tomorrow. And tomorrow. And tomorrow. Creeps in this petty pace from day to day. 
to the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays of lighted fools away to dusty death. Out. Out. Brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then he's heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. We couldn't get a clip of Michael Fassbender doing the same speech, but here's some comparable extracts from the forthcoming presentation. And the King's speech, it isn't. Faraday, I have not seen. Come, you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts. Hail, King that shall be. Duncan comes here tonight. If we should fail. Justin Kursau's Macbeth with Fassbender as Macbeth and Marion Cotillard as Lady Macbeth opens in UK on October 2nd.